Hello guys, I said I will um, do a video on the Maxxis Ultra Light, which is one of the latest hotel machines. Um, now I have paired it up. I will be doing a coding of the headlight because um, one of them has been changed, but if you ask me which one, I couldn't tell you. Uh, it's actually this one. The O-rings don't work, whereas the O-rings work on this side. So, we'll have a look and code it in using this machine. So, I have connected it and instantly it's picked it up. Um, so, what we'll do, I'll just... We're just going to do a diagnostic only. One second. So here we are. Okay. So I'll let it pair up. And I will also tell you a few different things as well about this. Because when you pair it up to BMW, it's a little bit different to other cars. So let's get this here. And... That's the V chassis. Okay. Okay. Let's shut this door. So, turned it off. Just like that previous one that I had, it was at MS Linos. I can't remember it to be fair. It's been a while, but if you look at the videos, you'll see. And that was similar. Turns the BMs off and on. Um, on here, it'll ping up with the headlight failure in a second. Um, so, yep, adaptive headlight failure. And on here as well, it should um, pick up in a second. So, what I've realised for BME, it does it exactly the way that um, the software of BMW do it. So, like, if you've got... Um, uh, Ista or whatever it, whatever they call it for BMW, this is the way it brings it, and Autel has done the same design as their software. Now we can do a fault scan. So once you're on here, you do a fault scan, and it will go through all the modules and detect where there's a fault. Um, it'll come up as there. So there's like one fault in there, one in there, nine in that one. But obviously, because it's had a dead battery, in this it will come up with all sorts. So it's done the full scan. That's as quick as it really takes. Um, it doesn't take long. I mean, if you ask me, does this take longer or the other one? I'd say the previous model that I had did take a bit longer. This is this this is a bit quicker. So, FEM. Let's just have a look into that. So you've got these two options. Just click into that, and then on here, it gives you these. We'll go into trouble codes. And as you can see, these are the faults with the headlight. Um, and if I did um, go into the vehicle information, vehicle status, service require, oh, not sorry, not service, um, check control. As you can see, you've got quite a few problems. I think another problem would be the parking sensor. We'll look into that later on as well. But for now, we just have them faults. So. We'll code it in, hopefully it should eliminate all the faults, um, obviously in the parking sensor, but um, you can try and erase it. This is the way you would do it. So, you're now left with these. So these are the ones that are faulty. However, we're going to move on to the programming and coding. I have not done any coding or programming with this machine as of yet. So, we're going to start today on this 4 series with the xenon headlights so you've got these functions here now we want programming it's telling us okay that's fine i haven't plugged any cable in so it's telling me i need that extra cable now this is good news now guys previously i was bombarded with so many cables so it was so annoying but now they've minimized it but it's minimal should we say um you only need the main one which goes to the car and then the other one which is there and onto the machine here so if i just rip it open i'll show you and i'll get the cable as well so that's what it does usb goes into there so i'm gonna grab it and i'll uh, update you 
I have now paired it up. Makes no difference on this end with the lighting, same as the other one that I had previously. All connected, all good. Okay. So it's still um, searching. Ignition was off. While that's loading, we'll just um, I will make another video, um, specifically for the special functions, the active tests that you can do, and also I will um, try on different cars so you know what sort of kind of setting you have and how this all works. So hopefully I'll go through it all one by one. But as I said we'll start off with this, encoding the headlights. This is what we get here. Before these, if I remember, some of them were down here. But you've still got one or two up here anyway, which it should be. But um, I think the Bluetooth used to be down here. So yeah, BT, Wi-Fi, that's fine. So all good. Uh, this is, the Wi-Fi is just turned on automatically. So it's gonna connect and it's gonna download all the files and then you're able to do programming. So it's now telling us connect to the server which it is okay so we'll let it do its test i'm just gonna see what comes up next um so uh, i'm just gonna say no units so i can show you the remaining so this compared to the other one when you hit programming it is very similar speed there's no difference so it's not gone quicker or slower it's the same uh, what we need is um coding i'm gonna do coding here and we're gonna do, let me just go back actually uh, previously we had quite a few like this and so we've got that that same as before same as before same as before same 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 restoring vehicle configuration that's new i've not seen that so that's new in terms of the game so we'll do coding uh we'll selective coding so so you already highlighted what i needed and i don't need everything so I'm going to just click the ones that I need. It usually, I'm not going to lie, but it usually does give like front left headlight, front right headlight. Um, don't know what's happened there. I think I clicked something by accident. Go back onto pro. Um, I'm just going to do that, see if it does code. If not, then I guess we'll have to figure something out. It'll be the machine that's limited in terms of what we can do, but I hope not. So press OK. So it's going to download the file. And it's a bit quick. But they're all like that, to be honest. It depends what module you go into and what file you download. Okay, ignition, that's fine. 13 volts, mm, it's not, but it's fine, it should be good. So I'll let it do its job. So there's not a lot of modules here. So it should instantly go through it, no problem. So this is new, it wasn't doing this before. That's the left side. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So it has done quite a fair few and cancelled one of them, which, okay, no problem. So it's done a So guys, I did the programming and coding besides just the coding on the headlights and unfortunately it's not the machine's fault, that's fine, that works, that codes, but having a look at the headlight, I've had a look and the code is completely different to the original headlight, it's, um, it's a different code, this is an adaptive one and the headlight that's been fitted is not, so in this case it has not coded in which is fine so what needs to happen is the correct headlight needs to be ordered and fitted on and then most of the parts should work on there anyway but you still need to code it in so in this case we are still in the same place as before nothing's changed um but yeah we'll move on to other cars as well and surely update you uh, on what you can and what you can't do <laughs> <laughs> 